Best way to train multiple dogs. So you have more than one dog, you wanna train them all. Of course we do, because if you train one, it's gonna be better than the other one, and you're gonna wanna train the other one anyway. So, what do you wanna do? People do three different things. First, they do back-to-back -back hours for the lessons. I highly discourage this. Um, unless you have a ton of time on your hands, free time, to work with the I want you to put in that time and focus on one dog at a time. If you focus on two, what happens is one dog's doing better than the other, so what do you do? You work on the dog that's struggling. So the dog that's doing good gets to 100%. The dog that's struggling gets to 90%. Instead of doing them separately, the dog that's struggling gets to 100%, and the dog that's doing good gets to 120%. Yeah, I consider more than 100% uh, possible. So, um, doing them, uh, but everybody wants to do them back to back for time constraints and driving and all that stuff. And again, you're gonna do what you want. Um, I only recommend things, but if you want your dogs to be the best, you don't wanna do the back to back hours. Um, unless you have, a, again, if you have a ton of time, you don't work, you have more time to work with the dogs and you actually put in the time between lessons, then whatever, and then anything goes, right? Um, second way people do it, they can't transport their dogs together because they're already having behavioral issues that the dogs can't even be in the same car, um, or they just have, they, they want to do them in separate times because for whatever reason, um, normally transport reasons. Um, they do different days during the week or different hours during the day. Again, same issue. You're still working both the dogs at the same time. You're gonna focus on one versus the other and they're not gonna come out as good as they would with my third option. Third option, do our basic package, do four lessons, then with one dog, then start the next dog. So you're gonna focus 100% of your efforts that first four weeks on your one dog and almost 100% of your efforts the second week on the second dog. The dogs are gonna come out way better with the training and you're not going to get distracted with this oh this one's doing so much better so I'm gonna spend a lot more time on this one and, and not do as much with this or run into more scheduling conflicts where you're just busy you get busy at work you get busy with the kids you get busy with life um, so you don't work with the dog as much or the two dogs um, you're still gonna have more time to work with one dog than you would two. again it's, it's simple math so um, doing one dog through the training and then the second is highly recommended by myself um, yeah bottom line do it that way if you want your dogs to be the best unless you have a ton of time and again that's for you to determine I only recommend stuff for the board and train um, we really discourage highly discourage and a lot of times I won't even do it depending on the particular issues with the dog is doing the board and train together so the board and training intent is not to, to change or do behavior modification the intent is get your dog at a certain level of obedience to then address behavior modification. So um, I highly recommend doing one dog. When you pick up the one dog after the two weeks and do your turnover, you drop off the second dog. Um, we also do it where you do a week in between, so you drop off the one dog, a week later you pick up, you, you drop off your second dog, and then the next week you'll pick up your first dog, and the week after that you'll pick up your second dog. So the dogs get a little bit of an overlap. Again, the problem is that the dog that's getting dropped off second, we still need to get a baseline obedience with the dog before we can do a ton of behavior issue, behavior modifications with the dog. So do the dogs get work together? Yes. Should the behavior be modified with the issue with the dogs? No, um, we're not guaranteeing that. Nobody's saying that. If anybody in my organization told you that, please give me a call. Um, they should not be telling you that your dog's behavior will be modified. Yes, we work on behavior modification, but again, it's two weeks with the intent of getting your dog to a certain level of obedience so behavior can start to be modified. Do some dogs progress faster than others? Of course. Um, do some dogs go slower than others? Of course. Um, I just want you to understand that, that we're not, nobody should be telling you your dog's gonna be fixed with its behavior issue in our two week board and train. Because again, that's not the intent. Are some dogs, of course, are some dogs not? Yes, um, again, I can't make it simpler than that. Um, so uh, call with any questions you have about that. Um, do we take dogs both at the same time for the board and train? Yes. Um, if the dogs have behavioral issues with each other and are you promised that they're gonna be worked together a ton? No. Um, the, the dogs that, I, that I'm willing to take um, for the two-week board and train um, at the same time together with the same trainer are, are dogs that don't really have issues. Um, it's just straight obedience um, and the owner's gonna have time 
when they get the dogs back to work with the dogs. So again, all training takes reinforcement by the owner, no matter what any trainer tries to tell you. Um, we're getting the dogs to a certain level of obedience, but it still takes reinforcement by you to maintain obedience um, and to, to, to keep that obedience going forward. Um, when you get two dogs back at the same time, it is way too much for the majority of owners to deal with both dogs and they just get discouraged and upset that they're not able to get the dogs to do the stuff. So at least a week overlap, I highly recommend two weeks overlap. So again, you never get to go without a dog, which is a lot of people's big issue with the board and train. Drop one dog off, two weeks later you pick them up and in the process drop off the second dog. Um, works out better for everybody, then you get two weeks with the first dog, learn all the techniques, um, get that dog doing doing excellent for you, just like they're doing for us when you, when you do the pickup, um, and then you get the other dog back, it's much easier on you, it's much easier on the dogs, um, and everybody's happy. Dogs are better. Um, that's the bottom line. Any questions, comments, emails, please give us a call, text, um, 